So, the elevator doesn't actually descend far enough, so it's time to build a ramp in this very slanted edition of Space Engineers. Welcome back, and uh, while well, I am currently below Dex and Ixia and Jacobin are just above me. There's Ixia right there, actually. You can just see him floating around. There's Jacobin. You see the red of his suit. In uh, this episode, we need to try and figure out how to get that, uh, that rover that's up there that you saw last time down here. I don't feel comfortable with doing this again. Oh no, it's going to be even more fun this time. This Why? is going to be um, right. Okay, I'm, I'm just wondering about some something, maybe some possibility, because we can't actually get that piston down all the way, can we? We cannot. So we either make a ramp to it that lowers points, yeah. or that's what I'm thinking. Can we? Do we just lower it and then ramp it from from here, and then just roll it back off the ramp? I think that is probably the best way to do it. Yep. Okay, so because uh, I do not want to have to play piston roulette again. Oh, you mean like, you like with it, what though. happened on the drill? Yeah, I don't want to do that for three hours again. Three hours? I thought it was more like thirty hours. Felt like it. It was definitely a long time. Right. I'm going to get some more steel plates being made though. Not eleven. How about? Uh, That looks about right. So if I have another thousand. Question, I have an important question before I start doing anything to the um, elevator. Does okay. the offset mod affect that? Is the offset mod going to affect that? What the elevator? Um, wait, just be, um, the weights on that. I don't think so. No, it would be. I think it changes the thrust. Okay, you know what's really odd about what you just did? What? As you started destroying that, I swear I saw the rest of the structure start to buckle. I see it moving. I saw it move. I saw the whole rest of the structure move. I did not see that. You were standing on it. That might be why. Possibly. Um, I'm just trying to fit out, uh, change these front ones into blast door edges so that it goes smoothly together rather than hitting each other yep okay so what i'm going to do in the meantime i'm going to just get as many steel plates as i can and start building up the floor below my god why does this thing take 130 steel plate in comparison to the 25 of an armor Wait, block have you, you got that mini because i've got that no uh, um why do we need to make it complete while we're doing this temp just temporary thing sorry uh we want to reinforce sorry. it we want to reinforce it a bit so that in case something bad happens, it won't completely get destroyed. C can we move the drill, uh, the drill drone forward about three feet? Uh, uh, sorry, not three feet, about six feet. Uh, yeah, okay, Thank you. Jump one. That will do nicely. Right, that's one down. I, I hope I have this. Hmm. That's going to take a while. Uh, oh, you know what? Uh, Ixia, you like lights, don't you? I'm building a ramp, but yes, I can do that. There's a. There should be some sort of area light. If we can put an area light up here uh, on the ceiling, might help us out. It's a bit dark. I mean, actually, it looks it looks lovely, it, the darkness, but um, actually, it's up to you. I don't know if Jacobin doesn't mind. I don't really mind. Uh, I, actually I, don't, look, I don't think I mind. You don't think you mind? Uh, let me just check with myself. You mind? No. Okay, then. I don't mind. He's, okay. He has on list of face. In, pro in progress. Right, um... So, small problem, Jacobin. 
Yes. Yeah, we need to wait for steel plates. Yeah. A long time. Um, unless, unless we start taking apart, we can go up top and start taking apart your your monstrosity of a of a rescue ship. Uh, yeah, we can do that. If we start I, taking I, that I apart, I don't that think one. that's going to fly. Um, Again. Not voluntarily fly. Now, I think if we start taking this down, we might get some steel plates from it. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. Should we just drop the entire structure um, first? Uh, Actually, no, let's not do that because... Yeah, let's not do take, that. Uh, take the thrusters. There we go. I don't know what I've... I don't know what I've picked up. Uh, motors. Motors are heavy, they are. Oh, uh, we have a conveyor tube upstairs, of course. Let's not forget that. Off to you. Oh, uh, thank you. Hey, look, we're properly British once again. How quickly that happened. Exia's obviously uh, confused once again, isn't he? Exia! What? The Britishness is going to start rubbing off on you. You do know that, don't you? We're going to make you a Brit by the time we're done with you. I need an adult. We are adults. Well, technically. In... In the scientific sense, yes. Um, aside from that, perhaps not. Well, most of these are done. What's that, the ramp's down below? Well, the ramp is as far as I can get without actually seeing where it's actually going to end up for right now. Uh, yeah, yeah, me, me and Jacoby may have just dropped part of the ship. Uh, I think it's... I'm just putting everything in this container for now, that we don't... I don't think it, that container's connected oh, it was, to the it was only some It thrusters. should be. I believe you also have, um, spectator enabled on your world settings. Yes. I should have. You do. I'm watching you two grind from downstairs. Ah. What are you doing? Nothing. I'm waiting for steel plates. Ah. That's exactly what we're grinding these down for. Uh, by the way, the assembler should have a couple of hundred in there now. Yeah, there should be a couple of hundred in the assembler. I'll take that and I'll drop these off. We'll pull them in after. Yeah, that's what I'll do. We need to really start bringing everything down. This is why we need a uh, Vectric Snaggles and Carter back. Because you know, three of us can only do so much. Yep. Six of us can definitely do far, far more. In fact, mathematically, we can do twice as much. Yeah, however, the more people you have, the more administration you have. So it's not exactly right. Well, I mean... I'll get the, um, I got one more uh, play to do and then stuff. Oops. <laughs> oh, that's gone all the way down. Uh, yeah. Axia, you might have some things down there. Debris inbound. I'll go down and have a look. Yeah, Axia's on it, I think. Oh no, you, you did that. Never mind. Uh, right. Get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. I've got another 92 of those, plus uh, 70 of 69 of those. Jump onto that. Alright, so that's all done. Now, if I go downstairs... What are we looking at here? Alright, so that's the ramp. I may have to move it back or forward, so... Um... Well, no, if it if it can get down to this level, will it get this low? 
Uh, maybe. You have, so. you have a strong maybe in that question. A strong maybe. That's, yeah. uh... The only reason I'm I'm saying that is if it is going to get this low, if we know it's going to get down to this level, then we can start welding this up. Just in are case... You, are it's... you making the elevator aesthetically pleasing? Uh... It's... Yeah. I... But it has also, to. Uh, well, yeah. Uh, but also, having these corner blocks here will mean that if the middle block disappears, it doesn't mean that the entirety of the elevator fails. See? Functional engineering. Though, if anything's on here, it's dead. Just, just say See? that now. Functional worse, hazard engineering. And worst case is, and space engineers, physics engines freaks out, and the entire base goes spinning out of control, and we're all dead. See? Space engineering. That's kind of engineering. It's definitely engineering. Right. Uh, right, so you want me to lower this down so that you can uh, see Yes, close? yes. That way at least we know how far we need to go with this. Or you can just put the drill in there. I think we're set with everything else up there. I'd rather it, it gets tested before we put the drill on. Oh, All hang right. on. Um, I don't think this will go down far enough. I know it it's going to get... Well, I know it's going to hit the rock, but... We can extrapolate from there, because you can tell us how far it's actually got. Exia, that is a very dangerous place to be. <laughs> Man, we haven't had a death yet. Pneumatic Crusher test. Pneumatic Crusher versus Astronaut. I think you want to stop over there. Okay, stop, stop. Okay, how far, is, how far is that got? Uh, we're two bars down. I believe that's the furthest it gets, but I can't be quite what, What's the distance on the... I do, does it not have a distance or something? Uh, I'll check. Thank you. Uh, current position, 2.5. Uh, it's 6.5 out of 10. Sorry, current position is? Uh, 6.5 meters. I think it goes to 10. Yeah, it goes to yes. Okay, then we are too low. Uh, yeah, we are a little bit too low. I'm going to reverse this and get the mining drill on here so I can assist with mining. Hang on a second, because I think we're pretty much... Can you lower it down a little bit more first? Yes. Are we Okay, I got the big gun. Hang on a second. Uh, the wonderful thing about um, clearing land by hand drill, oh, by hydrant, is the um, bits that are left behind. Okay. Uh, That's looking about something. 8 meters, 10 meters. I've collided with something. Um, oh, it's that the... little spy, it's that staglomite. Uh, also, the other side. Okay. I think Xia's on that. On this side, well, whilst Xia's doing that, let me just quickly give you a little bit more. Come on. On this side. I think that will be enough to mind out uh, if it can get down, because that looks like it's down about eight and a half meters. Would I be about right? Uh, something like that, yes. Okay, this is maximum extension. That's 10. Yes. Okay. So, we are... I need to move it back one. Yep. We're one block too low. Ah, now that's a problem. What? We're out Moving of room. it back one, we're out of room. Well, when the miner comes down here, we can extend the amount of room we've got. Y yeah. Uh, or... Do you think we could make a, a 90 degree turn? Actually, no, we're fine on room because we don't. The, well, no, the drone because, isn't that large. Yes, but we're about. I'd, I'd say we're about three and a half. Well, when we move that back, we're going to be. We're going to be about four meters shy. Yep, 
I think we're going to be about four meters shy. Just enough room to get the drill and the drone in. Now the only thing I can think of is if you put the drone in forwards and as it comes down, the, as it rolls down, as it gets to this point, you switch on the drill just to give it the extra space. Then you just destroy the... Yeah, then you just destroy the ramp behind it and then back it up. Would that make sense? Yeah, that was that important. That was that uh, I've added glass door edges onto the side of the elevator so you know the point of which you need to connect to. Okay. And also, you need to connect with uh, blast doors to that, otherwise it won't work properly. Right, is that the... is that f as far back as it needs to be? Yes, it is. Lovely. Right, I'm going to go get as much steel plates as I can. Or as many steel plates as I can. This is why... Uh, we need something else up here as well. We need some sort of elevator for us. Actually, no. Better still, we don't need an elevator for us. We just need a way to get up and down um, faster. Don't we have a staircase? We do have a staircase, but uh, it doesn't have barriers on it yet, so it's kind of... Do we have ladders? Uh, we do, but uh, I don't think they work for Xia for some bizarre reason. Hmm. Um... Right. Probably so going to need to increase what? the height of the elevator so you can place the blocks down. Um, no. Was, wait, yeah. why don't we take off the blast doors and put a ramp there? Yeah, I was going to do that. Um, I mean, yeah, you could do that. We can try it. There's definitely going to be a gap, but I think it's enough for it to... It'll get through, won't it? Fine. Yeah, I can't reach from here. Pop a ramp on and see what... In fact, I can probably do that. Uh, which one's the ramp? That's a half ramp. Nope, that's not the ramp I wanted. That's uh, wobbling. So I'd like to mention yeah. that the, ele the elevator is being damaged with that. What happened there? It's, um, is it too when close? You, when you place the 2x1 ramp, it collided with the one that you're currently standing on, and so okay. therefore had to push the elevator move. So, so let's I got an idea. Let's um uh, grind those three blocks, replace them with steel with blast doors. Uh it has to be that length, otherwise the mining drone won't actually fit. Instead of a full block. Okay, here's a here's a really, really stupid idea. Um attach parachutes to the mining rig. Oh, oh the, sorry, not the mining rig, the uh, drone. Didn't we try Increase this the speed. Time? No, we didn't try this. Increase we did try the this. speed. No, that wasn't on camera. Uh, so we didn't try this. Okay. Increase the speed of it, not massively, just enough for it to jump the two bits. So I actually put a half block or something, or the blast doors on the on the uh, on the lift or on the elevator. As it comes off that. It will jump slightly to prevent any damage the parachute should deploy. But because there's a ramp here, it's just going to land straight on the ramp and continue like normal. So the parachutes are only there as a precaution. Um, I'm oh, gonna, God. I'm going to poke a hole in your plan real quick. Go on. Parachutes take a while to deploy. Bother. Hmm. They want to play fast enough for this distance. Okay, okay. What if we put uh, the blast doors on on this side of the lift, and on this side on the ramp we put a a half half slab. I call it, I'm calling it a half slab. It's not a half slab. It's a half steel block thingy. But you know what I'm talking about, Minecraft. I want to mention that we also want to be able to bring the mining drone back up yes so, that is a whole new problem yeah but why don't we engineer that problem uh because we're gonna have to do it anyway well the problem with that is it, here, here's the problem with that one once the mining rig is down here we need to destroy this ramp so it can go about its business so my thinking is we destroy the ramp and steep. start um yes that's too steep yeah you want what? the half hmm. 
what I'm thinking is that we go ahead and reconnect everything up top on the floor above and then we create a lift in a completely separate place for the mining rig and that lift can yeah. go multiple floors. A actual plan. A proper, elevator yeah. An actual elevator, not a jerry-rigged one. So we just threw a band-aid on and just said, oh, this yeah. is good. Yeah. Right. And we can use that not just for that, but even if we wanted to transport other things, we can bring them up and down. That's my thinking anyway, because I think in the middle of the floor, it's a bad idea to have one. The only reason I'd see it would be a good idea to have this... Oh, wait. Uh, the automated ramps. Um, have it actually in this room would be for the refinery and such. Well, what I would do is I'd say build a room off the side that way, the way I'm looking, and have the elevator out there then. So, you know, about... I don't know, 20 feet out in that direction. Yeah. Uh, you know you're British when you start working, you start mixing meters and feet. I think uh, you're surely doing it for the benefit of our, uh, of the American audience here. Yeah. I think I may have a solution. How far does the automated ramp go down? Beats me. I I genuinely don't know. Like I said, everything here is just trying to work it out. That's the fun of the series. Just got to try and work everything out. You sure that doesn't go any further down? Nope, doesn't go further down. Okay, we are two and a half meters off that. We are two and a half meters off that. Um. Exia, if we start the ramp from uh, right, if we start the ramp from here, Exia, going upwards, taper it off, create a, a plateau, and then let it go up the rest of the way, do you think we can make those two and a half meters? Because that's just one extra level, isn't it? And then we can just put blast doors on both sides. Just like it's done on the floor above. I think that should work. That should work. So we need to basically just start here. We need to start the ramp here. Make it go up a little bit, round, and then up a little bit more. Um, what's stopping you from putting the shallower armor slopes and then blast doors? It starts wobbling it. That's what we just discovered. No, uh, you were doing the two by one ramp that was colliding with this one. Whereas if you put um, the armor slopes and blast doors, they won't collide. Armor slopes. Because their collision boxes are smaller than okay. Their, um, okay. actual footprint. You mean one of. Ah, I think I see which one you're talking about. Then give me a second to grab some steel and I'll. Here, yeah, I've got some. I've got some. Where are you? Okay. I've lost you. Ah, oh, right, okay. That's... Well, I, I'm going to start actually... I know we're keeping this bit. I'm going to start using this steel to... strengthen up some of the base in case of uh, an accident. Well, that wasn't what I was quite going for there. Um, give me a second. What do you mean? Like this. Oh, okay, never mind. That will work. Wait, no, that's quite steep. It's, that gradient's it, quite... It's going to have to be, though. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, I think we're going to have some underside damage. But... If it works, let's just go for it. I wonder what to name this episode. More fun with elevators. Elevator trouble. More fun with elevators, that could work. Because... We haven't, we haven't learned our lesson. I, I don't think we're ever going to learn our lesson. We could be 300 episodes in and we're probably still going to be doing the same things. I'll still be only Actually, we're going to be 300 episodes in and still be right here. 
<laughs> We're still here with this elevator. Yeah. Please, please send help. Coming up, uh, still trying to get the elevator running. Not sure how to. Right, I'm going to raise the elevator back up to ground level. Okay. I mean, I mean, the floor up, it's not really going to ground level. The elevator is coming up, and that is a fantastic time to end this episode. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Space Engineers. Don't forget to hit the like button if you liked the video, and subscribe to catch more episodes. If you have not yet done so, please follow me on Twitch at www.twitch.tv slash ecgadget and please consider also supporting me on Patreon www.patreon.com slash ecgadget. Lastly, please do follow or subscribe to all the other players in this series. Channel links to the channels for Vectrix, Snaggles, Carter and Jacobine will be in the description box below as will the links to my Patreon and Twitch. Once again, thank you, and we shall see you soon in Space Engineers.